What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Verest and we are back for part two of our exploring the ocean edges uh, series. So uh, this should we should be able to finish off going down and to the left and then all the way back up to Levigar where we first started our uh, exploration yesterday. Um, so that's the plan for today. We're going to go ahead and get started. But before we do, make sure to hit that like and subscribe guys. Y'all have been doing crazy. We're at 220 as of the time of recording this uh, video. You guys are absolutely killing it. Oh my gosh, the road to 300 has just started last video. And we're already a fifth of the way there. That's absolutely insane. So anyways, let us continue from where we were at. We had found this weird cave over here, but there was nothing too interesting in there. Okay, you got some cursed pirates here in a long, long cave. Uh, it looks like it leads out somewhere in two directions. Okay, this is interesting. You have a cave that leads out in two directions. Let me make sure that there's nothing out here. Um, although I do like this area. It's like this hidden secret little, like plains area and a castle over here oh shoot well, what do we got over here is this like for pirates cliff bat okay so there's there's bats here what's on top of the cliff um looks like there's a skull here nothing okay there really isn't anything too much there is there um, but regardless, I d whoa, I do like the way it looks here. It looks cool, especially with the mountains, and um, I do like the palm trees. Let us continue, though. Whoa, check that out over there. That's absolutely super cool, bro. That is huge. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Ooh, they got food chilling up here. There's some mobs. A Winnick Sailor. They're just normal sailors. They're yellow, which means that they will fight. It's just, they're just normal sailing people. And of course, this area here, we obviously have to go to the top. We have to do it. Ooh, they got watermelon up here. That's sick. Watermelon, watermelon. And then they got like raspberries or strawberries, I guess. That's cool. Um, and then it's just really mountainous, huh? Oh, they got grapes. Okay, so they just literally got something of everything, but a little tiny grape things. Imagine if they made, oh. Wait a second. There's a cave in here? What is this? Oh, this is so cool. Again, it's just a... Whoa. And a wild mountaineer is stuck in the ground here. This is super interesting. It's like they made themselves like a base. And they're just stuck in the mountain. Oh my gosh. that's I didn't even notice it from outside either. And they just got a little cave to themselves and a little fire. Like, I love how there's just, like, little hidden lore everywhere. I accidentally fell in here. I would not have seen it otherwise. Um, so, in that case, let's jump out. Let's see. Anything else that's that interesting? Doesn't really seem like it. Wow. Okay. Oh, it looks like we got a cave. I'm not a big cave. Okay. But, it, but is there nothing else? I wonder what the lore behind this is why there are the geodesic clusters because geodesic so are they trying to say that it's like a meteorite type of deal geodesic or geode I, I don't know what that means interesting looks like it's just a cool cave oh maybe an entrance from the top there is an entrance from the top that's cool um that is a very nice cave anything interesting about this ship they are carting diamonds here they got they have some emeralds oh Wait a second, and there's a cave here. And it's got bars on it. Oh. Is this like where they smuggle stuff? Pirate skeptic. Interesting. I feel like this is supposed to be like a, a harder challenge. And it's a tier 3 chest. Okay, so if you ever want to find a tier 3 chest, there's one off here, off the island. Okay. Now comes to a part that we have explored, and I'm going to quickly go through these places because this is part of the Wind Province, and they're generally more explored. Um, um, this is just a little camp again, and we've been over here where I said it was one of the more, more underrated places, unknown places in Windcraft. Yeah, we, we, def we have to go through Nemrak because it's along the coast. There's not much really to see here, so I'm going to skip it. If there are any, like ocean secrets here let me know otherwise i'm i'm just gonna go through it 
Whoa, I didn't realize that they had sea cockroaches. What the heck? And then turtles, turtles. I didn't know about the turtles, but I didn't know about sea cockroaches. It looks so ugly. Oh, dry coral reef. Um, and then drowning squid. That is so interesting. Oh, they have like little geysers here. Oh, the squid is drowning on the rocks. Oh, wait, this is a coral reef. Hold up, give me a second. There we go. We're back in the day. Um, yeah, so it looks like they're drowning in the in the little pool that they got here. That's that's sad. But it does look super, super cool, like aesthetically wise, right? I love this little archway. More sea cockroaches just chilling around. That's cool. Ooh, a little house. Someone's got a little, little house here. Very, very cool. Oh, it's a little fishing house as well. Uh, I Oh, wow. I am very happy that they did incorporate a rocky aesthetic like this because not all beaches are like perfectly sandy, you know? So I, do, I am happy that they were able to incorporate this. This is Celeriso's... So say, yeah, this is the yeah. This is part of a quest. This is the underwater quest. If you want to see the ship, check out the underwater quest. Um, that's all what this is about. There's a little floating island here. It's so inter. Wow, that that sound is loud. It's interesting that they even have a floating island here, um, because this isn't the side of the world that would have one. So it's very interesting. Looks like it's more rocky stuff, which I like. And then a normal beach. Okay. All right. And here we go to places that I haven't traveled yet. Okay. So it looks like they have a cave there just off the coast. Cool enough. Fair enough. This is one of the lowest level places in the game. That's why this is... What level is it? It's level 10. So it's super low level. Um, but as we start going... Uh, alongside it we should hit like level 70s and 80s soon so um, let's continue alongside the beach okay see look this is how you know, know that this place is newer because they have these updated seagulls with like actual uh, custom built uh, custom like you know animals whoa wait there's a cat what I didn't I didn't realize that there was anything here. Whoa, 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 whoa. This place is absolutely gigantic. And there's gigantic doors. Can I use the laboratory key here? Whoa, and there's like a little in in like a little cove on the inside. This is cool. Like you would have you you would never know about this. Unless you just happen to come upon it. And the wind, Windcraft Builders. Whoa. Wait, they actually have like ruins and stuff over here. That's sick. Okay, okay we'll get to that in a second. We have to. So, because it goes up and down. L let's go check this out just in case there's anything there. Okay. And then uh, I checked out this place in one of the videos that I made. And then let us continue our journey okay so that is cool so we were just up oh, we were just there if we continue alongside the ocean oh my gosh oh my goodness that's a legendary island over there okay we got pirates so pirates are and there's pirates everywhere along the ocean um pretty much everywhere where there isn't a civilization you kind of find these pirates Oh, they got a campsite over here. Oh, sick. They got, like, houses and stuff and beds. Bruh. This looks fire. They got a nice place. And what is this? Whoa. It's like... It reminds me of, uh... Stonehenge. Stonehenge. That's, that's what it reminds me of. Let's go inside. What do they have in here? Oh, is it a copper mine? Because they got copper on the walls. I guess this is another place where they pack up all their... Where, like, they hide their goods, right? Oh. Cool. Okay. So, th that's very cool, bro. Like, I love the fact, like, yes, they're, pirates hold their, they hoard their stuff, and you can actually find it. So, it's here. Uh, we, we went to the other one earlier in the video that has it there. Um, let us continue. So, that's a very cool place over there. Oh, and we got a shipwreck on our hands, boys. We got a shipwreck. Wow, this is crazy. I... 
You would never find this. It's just hidden underneath. How do you crash in here? Is there anything interesting in the ship? Oh, wait, wait, this goes down. Oh, <gasps> what? Whoa, there's a secret underwater place. Dude, how many of you guys knew about this? Here, here of all places in the middle of nowhere? And then there's just undead pirates. And that's literally all that there is to it. There's literally nothing else. Okay, dude, come on. If this isn't like one of the coolest things, the fact that they that they made something like this. The only reason I realized is because I saw the names of the undead pirates. That is so cool. I love Windcraft, bro. The fact that they just do stuff like this. Literally out in the middle of the nowhere. Um, yeah, they, like, that's awesome. Definitely give the server out a try. Um, I definitely am going up there. Who am I kidding? I am not skipping this waterfall. Okay. What do we got here? Whoa. What is this? Okay, I thought I would find something here. I did not expect to find this. What? This is this place is gigantic. A lost tool. Power excavator version 5. Do not get caught under falling metal drill. They're drilling for iron? Oh my gosh. This whole time, bro. I was like, oh. Okay, there's nothing much here. There's just a little cave. In reality, they, there's this gigantic iron mining excavation area here. This place is absolutely sick. If you knew about this place and you play Windcraft, let me know. I do not believe you. I, th I mean, would you like? Could you expect me to believe you? Dead miner. So it's just a, it's a dead place. All the miners died and. You know, knowledge of it has gone. And look, there's no quest here. There's no nothing here. It's just a gigantic cave with a history. Isn't that in, like, where does the iron for Ragni come from? It probably came from here. Regardless, we continue. And I love this place. Look at this. It's a, like a flower forest. Beautiful flowers. Like, it all looks so nice here. I like, and it's, it's just cliffs around here. Whoa, dude, that's so sick. Can you believe this? Okay, looks like there's corrupt fishermen in there. Um, we got to get in there somehow. There's got to be a way in, right? Oh, this goes into the mountains. Let's see, what have we got? Is it just uh, a pool? Yeah, it looks like there's no way ne up necessarily unless we go around. Oh, is oh, it doesn't let us there. Okay, so yeah, this is the edge of the world that it won't let us past. But this place looks beautiful. Oh, we have to go on top of there. It's a peninsula. It's not a peninsula. It's an island kind of because it's surrounded by rivers like that. We have to check it out. And here we are on the edge of the Windcraft world looking at crazy mountains in the distance and cool forests. Bro, this 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 server is absolutely insane. Okay. Just a beautiful little like the rivers come together. Wow. This is definitely screenshot worthy. Check that out. That looks sick. Won't be a thumbnail, but I want that for my own personal use. That looks beautiful. Whoever built this. Um Oh, I do I think we could probably get up there. So we should probably try, right? Ooh, yes, it's a pond. I love ponds. Y'all know this. Y'all know I love ponds. Uh, okay, but this one I like. This I like with the rocks and everything. Oh, and then more seagulls down here. This, this is beauty. Oh, this is beautiful. Whoa, this looks sick. Oh, and with the arching over and the cobblestone they incorporated. Whoa, 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 whoa. what happened here? What? What is this? Elder Th Thoamage? Level 87. Okay, so I told you that we'd be hitting high levels here. Whoa, what is this? It's these weird houses and they're all aggressive. Oh my gosh. Please, I just want to see the houses. I want to explore. What? 
There's a hidden village in here. This place is beautiful. Oh my gosh, and it's complex. Looks like there's a downstairs area where we can go. Whoa! What the frick? They got like some dead people. Her, her. No way, that says Hercules, right? Oh no, here lies. Oh no, it says here lies and. And this like weird castle-y thing here. It's. What? Oh, they have a cave back here. Whoa! Okay, that's cool. Okay, oh, hold up. I'm being attacked by so many things all at once. It looks like they have some sort of elemental powers. First of all, this castle is absolutely super cool. Wow. Whoa, it's bigger than I anticipated. They have a cake! That's a fire. That's fire. It reminds me of Fordyceps, or Forceps it's called. It's a type of bacteria in real life that like infects, um, what's it called? It infects uh, ants and stuff and insects and it grows inside of them and it looks kind of like this, I guess. I wonder if that's what they were going for because that is super cool. Okay, so I think this officially takes the cake as one of the coolest places we visited on our journey so far. Let me know what your favorite place was. I think this probably takes the cake. It's it's a whole town that is lost. Oh, look at that. It's another, it's another, bro. It's another fr Simba. It's another Pride Rock. I need to do it. Pride Rock. That is so cool. There's another Pride Rock here. This next place, I do know. Um, it's on the edge of the world. As you can see, it kind of goes off into the edge. Let me show you guys what this looks like. It's the door to Fruma. Um, and there's only one thing we know really right now is this by the order of her majesty of Ruma, so it's an imperial uh, uh, Place no one is allowed to cross the border into her lands punishable by death So that is super super cool and that is pretty much all that like we really know about this area Okay, so if you do come over to the west side of Fruma, there is this over here. They have a lot of dead bodies and blood, and then this. Somebody was buried here, but it seems like somebody took their body out, which is super weird, right? So I wonder what that means for the story of Fruma. Um, it's so strange that they would even put that there. Um, like, it looks like someone stole a dead body. Or removed it um, so that is obviously very very interesting and I think that's as much as I will know oh I made this jump sorry guys but in the filming of this episode I got carried away and I spent a lot of time because there is a lot of stuff between that place and coming back over here to Levigar so I'm afraid I'm gonna have to put this into a three-parter we're already way too far into the video and yeah there's a lot of cool stuff to come just just letting you know part three has a lot of places that i think are super super cool um but do let me know what y'all thought of part two um part three is going to come out soon i am super excited for it thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed the video make sure to like and subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next one Bye bye